Pyro. I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with the Yeti. Man. Fat dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt. But he wouldn't listen. <sighs> oh, I know you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Okay, so before we get into this, um, the strategy, or like, the trick that I, I've kind of learned that you can do is like, you just kind of, kind of keep edging him into the corner while constantly doing, um, jabs, and like, it seems to be the best, the best way I can think of to handle this, um, but even then, it doesn't always work the best way, or I don't know if it's like, I'm doing something wrong, but... Kinda like, just gonna edge him towards the corner while just doing this. And like, sometimes you'll get like a bunch of hits in a row, other times, like, you'll just keep getting pummeled, and it's just. Yeah, th this, this mini game is just stupid. <laughs> what else can I really say about it? Like, say what you will about some of the uh, sections for the, for the other characters, but at least they uh, use the. Like, all their sections are, like, tied to what their gameplay is about. Whereas, like, you have Bentley here, and you have Boxing, which has nothing to do with his core, like, just game mechanics or anything like that. And... Like, I, j I don't understand why this is even here. Like, they could have done... They could have, uh, expanded upon what we saw in the... What we saw in the previous Bentley sections, but... You know, we gotta do Boxing for some reason. Like, uh, I don't know. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time it'll be a free round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Uh. Round one, fight. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll give it like a couple honest attempts. So if, if it just doesn't doesn't go, if it just just doesn't, doesn't go well, then we'll just um, do the cheat. But yeah, there's a skill point here. I think it's like beat him before round two ends or something. And this ain't going well already. I thought I beat him in two rounds in a row. I just heard you. No, oh, no, you, have, you you just have you just have to uh, beat him in round two, because uh, it's I think it's just impossible to beat him in round one, unless you're just like a, using a task machine or something. Yeah, look at this. This is just. Oh, I forgot the time. Yeah. Um, like if they just. Like, re redesigned this completely and just made it punch out, then I would like it. <laughs> Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. But, but they, they have to at least put some quality of life improvements onto this, because this is just... Yeah, this is just bad. Now, now, Harry. Torture Bob shouldn't ruin the integrity of Insomniac's work. <laughs> how bad it is. Uh. Which is yeah. why I hope the Enter the Dragonfly remake is exactly like the original. Oh yeah. Bad bad frame rate and all. And rip to its banana mouth. Good lord. Screw this. Oh gosh, I remember how annoying that animation was. Yeah. And this line is the like the oh, and man. You are. I'm never see I hate hearing mind. this line so much. It's just the, uh, just, just my pain and misery. I'll give it one more on the stuff. I know the spark is green now. They actually, they actually tie your health. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that would be funny though. Ugh. This is the worst fighting I've seen in my life. Oh, he, he like gives you no break sometimes. It's not I, cause I, cause I, I've seen people like do this trick and it works a lot better than I'm 
making it look right now, so I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong exactly. Yeah, but would you- would- do you have, like, anything to add about Bentley boxing? This would've been better since I can parody. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just kill- just, just kill me. Or I can go to round two, even though I have, like, a digit of health. It's gonna give me a bit, but... Yeah, it's not gonna be enough, so just kill me. <laughs> okay, let's cheat. Alright, so how does this work exactly? Are you playing on PS1 or PS3? Uh, PS3. But you're using the original copy. Yeah, I'm using the original copy. I just turned another DualShock 3 controller on. I wonder if it'll work on a PlayStation 3. Because I played the PSN version, attempted to get a second controller synced up, and I don't think it worked. So I had to win it, technically legitimately, but I still kind of cheesed it and just got lucky. Oh. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we might have a long night. Uh, let me see here, then. Like, can I do anything? Nope. Uh, control the settings. For me? What's that gonna do? I just wanted to guess one. Need a second controller. Plug in the transmission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a second player with a controller with a pocket of getting. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do you need any? I understand. Oh, wait, wait. Can I use a pocket? 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 Uh, I don't think so. No, no, it's still a CPU. Oh, wait, wait, where's your controller? I'm holding it right now. Uh. Can I use it? I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this yet. Oh, he's still moving by himself. No. No, this is not good. Well, you, you have two controls to kill, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Turn on stuff. Alright, now I just move the controls, my bending controls to the second controller. So that's not gonna work. Uh... Man, this is confusing. The fact we have to do this, though, like, that, that just shows how bad this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. I can't figure it. Figure this out. Your sound strength's still going to be too unexpected. That's probably you, though. Sorry, I'm sorry, my computer my house. Do you have found anything? I'm looking. Oh, I'm trying. Okay, this is good. No, no. You guys want a good combo on this. Hi. Are you serious right now? Not the best situation I've ever been. This is actually the best thing ever. I'm pretty tall to do this. Oh. I hate everything. It's true, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, anyway. Please, says that if you were back on the spot, you were but... I tried that. So, I think I lost. Yeah. Uh, I 
Yeah, okay, we're watching this corners. Stereo increase under 90 Spider Man. Captain Blue and Beautiful Joe. With Eeyore and Kinhorse Doom. I got these odds, I got the Jack. Yeah. Yes! Wait. Yeah, okay, there we go. Good. That was good. Is it done? Yay! This isn't my ball. It's just another stupid egg. <sighs> okay, it wasn't as bad as the siege run, but that was still bad. Um, is there anything getting cut from this? I have no idea. Also, if you go back... Ooh, I found my ball! I forgot I lent it to Eugene yesterday. <laughs> no harm done, right? <sighs> so that whole thing was literally pointless. Right, I know we got the eggs back and all that, but in terms of like what the the point of uh, get, uh, fighting the ye yes he was yeah there's like no point in that like why uh, screw this like whose idea was that stuff that man that's all I can say the time the rocket's fueled up and ready to go, Spyro. Spyro. I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. <laughs> sure glad I ain't the one getting on. Shouldn't Bentley be here? Oh, there Yeah, he's there. Spyro, don't worry. Fairy engineering has never failed. Hop aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. <laughs> the rocket is ready for launch, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. <sighs> okay, so let's see if the cutscene cut actually plays here. Uh, because it should. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters! <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings! Yes, yes! It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them! Oh, yes! Smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them! But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> well, that doesn't matter! As long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever! Uh, uh, wait, wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. <laughs> It just stops them from wriggling so much. Oh, don't no, mess up though, but still. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where am I? Ah, yes! Ooh. 
Yeah. <laughs> Mood whiplash. A lot of um, bombshells of that cutscene. And yes, I still think the Rhinos are actually kind of, you know, they're sentient. I think they actually do have feelings. Yeah. This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is Three. no time for ruminating. Ah, oh, yes, Box. Baby, what about me? I don't know. Steady provision <laughs> of combustible projectiles. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, th this is this boss can actually be pretty difficult if you are careless because like the shots go everywhere, and uh, he sends out a bunch of like enemies. Um, crabs. Yeah, these crabs and, and like some guys that the guys that like hold hold the bombs, which can be kind of a nuisance. Um, but the but. The uh, weapon you want to get from Bentley uh, the, uh, is the the, uh, the red rockets because um, j just one little like hit from from one of these d doesn't does enough does the same amount of damage as like a green missile. Um, so what you want to do is kind of just shoot a little bit and just kind of get him when he stops his shield or whatever. And uh, he doesn't have. He, he can whittle his health down pretty fast, but. Yeah, he, again, his attacks are really deadly, like, so. And, uh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, going back to the uh, cutscene, though, uh. She basically made this monster to literally kill babies. Like, that. that's, like, how dark this is. Like, the sorceress is just all kinds of twisted. And, uh, yeah, what, what can I really say? It's like... For whatever reason, the Ripto wasn't entertaining enough for you. <laughs> like, the Sorceress does feel like a very stark contrast to the other Spiral villains. Yeah, it's basically... Uh, the Sorceress is, like, the complete opposite of the Ripto problem for me, whereas, like, she has, like, a presence in... Like, more, pretty much every level, not all of them, because some, sometimes, like, there's a unique uh, plot going on, and uh, uh, Rhinox uh, aren't really mentioned as much in, in some of them, but for the most part, she has a presence in, in, the, in the game, and you have, like, Bianca, like, working, working with her, and uh, just trying to, just basically taunting you throughout a good chunk of the game. And uh, yeah, the fact that she's she basically she basically just wants to like ki uh, kill the dragons so just so she can like just take take their wings so she can live forever. Like let's say like, the most easily the most like uh, dark like plot out of the out of the trilogy, and just oh, I forgot that happened. I think he's Jeez. yeah. Just you just throw the other bosses in here. Why? Why don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh! 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 <laughs> I think it, kill. Yeah, it, it cancelled it out. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. That's cute. Yeah, it's good. Taking him on himself. Yeah. I like how I still have four rockets. Uh, four red rockets. Why are you carrying those on the ship? And this is when we can uh, I I issue um, uh, couldn't go to the hunter areas Hi, Bianca, before, and then you can did you, you can now. Any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. I never thought we were gonna hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Uh, cheesy romance is blo blooming.
Uh, and like what one other one other thing that I uh, was uh, uh, with the sorceress uh, that uh, Ripto failed at is just a general like backstory like um, we like we learn about how um, uh, like she sent the dragons to another uh, realm and, or whatever and like we know we know her intentions and all that is the point and you don't really get that with Ripto like he just kind of wants to take over Avalar and he hates dragons but it's never really explained why you just kind of have to accept it and I don't know I think this game does a better job at just Spyro, I know you don't trust me, making the villain a villain if that sorceress. makes sense there's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair but it'll take some very strong magic if you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Yeah, I will say, though, uh, I was saying about how, uh, Ripto is, like, the sorceress is, like, the opposite rip of Ripto. Um, but I mean that in the sense that, while well, I, I do, as, like, a villain, uh, the sorceress is easily the most threatening out of the three. But I will say what Ripto has that the Sorceress doesn't is just general, like, charisma. Your general charisma, and uh, he has just more of a of a like chemistry and general rivalry with Spyro. Um, whereas the Sorceress doesn't really have much of any of that. Uh, so yeah, that's she's like an you were saying. No, I was just, just kind of ending that with like, like it doesn't really. Um, she doesn't really have any rivalry with Spyro whatsoever, and uh, it's kind of a kind of a shame when you have like you, you, they ba they basically uh, do everything besides that uh, right with the sorceress, and I don't know they could they could have could have just given us maybe maybe even just a cutscene before the final boss uh, where they interact or something, but you know you don't get anything really. But yeah, that's like that, that's pretty much gonna be my like final spiel for uh, Ripto versus the Sorceress, and ba basically that's all. Basically, all, all I all I need to say at this point. So, yeah, if you got anything to add or anything? It's pretty weird that the, the Sorceress, despite being like an exist yeah, existential threat to the dragon species, is kind of. Spyro doesn't seem to care much. Yeah, like the, the fact that like the dragons are like, like this game like, um, like even more so than Spyro One, like that his species is like in really big danger. Uh, is this like these are like newborn dragons and like the next, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, the next generation of dragons, pretty much. Uh, so you'd you'd think he'd be a bit a bit more concerned, but I don't know. Now, if you'll humor me for a moment, I feel like I don't know if I were going crazy with re redoing this for the remake and decide to do some retcons. I don't know, maybe have one of the baby dragons be one of Spyro's siblings. Give him a some. I, I wouldn't mind that. Give him a little brother that he needs to rescue. Like, give, make it, give him a reason to be really pissed. Yeah. That that would be interesting. Yeah, I, I would like that. Give it some like, get some like character. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you want to say growth, but like just a good character moment for Spyro. Or they could try and retcon one of the. You remember Ember and Flame from from Pet Flame? Is that his name? Ember and that red dragon from my hero's tale. You remember them? Yeah, uh, was it the the red the uh, the red Spyro recolor? <laughs> What's the name? Flavius? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, are you talking about the Spyro recolor though? Yeah, like yeah. I don't know. Retcon them into this and make them like what <laughs> like, I or something. Um, I mean, like they probably they're around the same age as Spyro in my hero's tale, so. It'd probably be not that much of that probably be the same age as him now, but yeah. I don't know, like give them a moment, like maybe they have like, a little sibling that's probably to go after on their behalf. Yeah, I can see that working. Because like it the they're basically the, the 
well, Harry, from Harry's Tale, uh, they look basically the same age as Spyro, so... And I, I've heard, like... Um, well, I've seen videos where, where people have seen, like... Um, I think it was, like, Amazon or someone? Or, s like, some uh, online shopping website uh, where it was like, fi like find uh, dragons and, like, orbs that... Like, f find like new dragons, orbs, and eggs, or whatever, and I don't know. It, it might have been a like so someone made a mistake, but heavily implies like additional content. So, Once I've opened it, you uh, if that's the case, I would be open to some be kind careful. of sibling or whatever, or something <laughs> along those lines. Baby Cinder. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. I wouldn't be surprised if they try putting Cinder in the classic series. I wouldn't mind. Was Legend of Spyro her debut? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, if, if they if, if they just uh, used if if they just used the um, the the original like trilogy timeline for a while, they'll probably just write her in at some point. All right, all the eggs. Uh, still missing some gems though. Is that it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright then. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah. Well, so we're gonna go back to do the Sparks level in the uh, Midday Gardens? No. Oh. I think so. Uh, let's uh, save your favorite character first. <laughs> well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out, could there? His blaster's right there. <laughs> yeah. Since I've been captured, if you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. Know what I mean? You bet. Later. Is this Deadpool? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh. Uh. And now you're gonna do this. Yeah, but, um, and what, what else can I really say, like, uh, I know Actually, what? we want, we want Spyro to have a little brother. <laughs> like a cannon. Yeah. Take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Ah, next thing you know, your whole island... I think they could use some, like, liberties, like, because they, I, th I think, I think they kind of need, like, some material to work with for, like, a new, a new game. Yay, Professor! Nine, Yay! Pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the whole island. Perhaps you could stop them before they destroy all my research. Uh, but uh, before we talk about Agent Nine himself, uh, like any any closing uh, like thoughts on the whole like like sibling or like having like Sparrow just uh, and a. Ha like, ha have him, like, actually concerned about, like, what's going on with the whole, like, dragons thing and all that. We just... You don't even have to... Add, you don't even have to introduce a new character, you just gotta... Just get some more additional cutscenes. Yeah. Like, Spyro just kind of feels like a... Yeah, 
Spyro does kind of feel like a co-star in his own game. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, his friends all seem more pissed off about the sorcerer than he does. Yeah. Uh, which is, again, funny because, like, this is his race we're talking about, and, like, the sorcerer's, like, wants to basically just kill them just to steal their wings, and it's just... You, you, well, I mean, he probably... He probably doesn't know, like, all of that, but you still think he'd be concerned about his race, but I guess, guess not. <laughs> uh, but, I don't know. It, 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 I, I, I would be totally down with uh, some kind of, like, sibling or, like, something al along those lines. Because it's, it's similar to what I've heard about people say... Uh, in regards to like Sora in like Kingdom, like Kingdom Hearts 3, like if they like make something bad happen to Riku and just really, really just push uh, Sora's button and just make him like ticked off, like just uh, some something similar similar to that with Spyro, I guess, where like you really make him go down the deep end and just like just get upset because like you really, you really don't see Sparrow like, exit out of his, um, I guess, I, like, cocky, like, arrogant, I guess, kind of, uh, personality, or whatever, I, I don't know. But, you know, is it so something that would actually, like, test his emotions would be an interesting change of pace, I think. I guess we'll see what happens, because, uh, I don't I don't expect too many changes to reignite. Uh, but I don't know. We want our characters to suffer, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you heard it here first. 